Yellowstone supervolcano rumbles with 267 earthquakes in October and fears of an overdue eruption are growing. What is happening with one of the world's most threatening supervolcanoes? As it was rocked by over, over 260 quakes last month and fears and superstition that the U.S. supervolcano is overdue for another cataclysmic event. It's home to Yellowstone supervolcano Caldera. It's in the northwest part of Wyoming. It overlaps into Montana and Idaho, and we're going to see that it's also deforming in that area of the northwest of the caldera, and it has uh, quite a few movements in the past few years. It's heaving, it's like breathing. Now, geologists estimate up to 3,000 earthquakes strike the park every year because of the movement of fault lines and the magma underneath, the scorching hot water deep underground, which causes the uh, hydrothermal areas and the geysers. We know that Yellowstone has over 60% of the world's geysers and over 10,000 hydrothermal areas. Now, it's no surprise that uh, Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, the branch of the U.S. Geological Survey that monitors Yellowstone, recorded more than 260 tremors last month and surrounding areas uh, alone. And we're going to see what the monitoring is like and, of course, the deformation. Now, according to Yellowstone Activity Report published this week, University of Utah seismograph stations that take care of the GPO, the GPS systems, total, the, uh, detected the total of 267 quakes. The strongest of these tremors was a minor earthquake of 2.6 magnitude, just four miles east-northeast of Norris Geyser Basin, and that was the beginning of the month. That was October 4th. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. The first lasted from uh, October 5th to uh, 15, recording uh, earthquake swarms, a total of 109 tremors, and was continuing a swarm that began September 19th. So we had earthquake swarms too. And another swarm of 21 earthquakes began October 1st, ending October 8th. Another 29 tremors struck between October 4th and 8th. So it's also, of course, the tremors, the uh, sw quake swarms that... Uh, are counted as earthquakes. In any given month, Yellowstone experiences anywhere between 100 to 300 quakes, half of which are in earthquake swarms, and these can sometimes hit as high as a thousand quakes in a single month because of these swarms, though experts have assured that these are not outside of the normal activity of Yellowstone. USGS said Yellowstone earthquake activity remains at background levels, Despite the seismic activity and, of course, the past history of the supervolcano eruptions, the super eruptions, scientists do not believe Yellowstone volcano poses a present threat to the United States. However, many people believe that uh, this supervolcano is overdue for an eruption. Yellowstone's last three eruptions went off 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 640,000 years ago, a random pattern of eruptions has led many to assume Yellowstone's eruption it happens every 600 uh, 100 to 700,000 years. We're talking about a super eruption in this case, but there has been a last lava eruption 70,000 years ago and another 80 eruptions since then. Now, social media, of course, are um, is flooded with people claiming to know something about what uh, how Yellowstone Caldera is brewing and uh, Twitter user Chris Rowe for instance said Yellowstone Park could erupt tomorrow and change the planet's climate for decades if not forever and this planet will do what it wants and no amount of bleeding about its changing climate will change that. Now for all those uh, who insist we could do the arithmetic. This is according to what uh, the National Park says. 
Three eruptions occurred 2.1 million, 1.3 million, and 640,000 years ago. The two intervals between the 0 0.8 and 0 0.66 million years average to 0 0.73 million years interval. And again, the last eruption was 640,000 years ago, implying we're still about 90,000 years away from the time when we might consider calling Yellowstone overdue for a super eruption caldera forming event. But these were caldera forming super eruptions and Yellowstone has experienced other periods of lesser volcanism since then, as we said. The lava eruption of uh, 70,000 years ago, 80 eruptions since then. Let's remember it has had hydrothermal eruptions as well, which were pretty big blasts. So the last big eruption 640,000 years ago, the super eruption then, Yellowstone witnessed at least 80 non-explosive eruptions, including 27 rhyolite flows lava flows in the caldera. USGS said the most likely type of eruption would not be volcanic, but rather a hydrothermal eruption. This type of small but still explosive eruption can occur from shallow reservoirs of steam or hot water rather than the molten rock, this according to Sebastian Ketley of Express UK. Now, in the past few uh, videos that uh, we found articles concerning uh, the fact that super volcanoes, super eruptions, are not, uh, do not act, they don't have the activity and the uh, method of erupting as regular volcanoes do. Super eruptions have a huge magma chamber and a, few, a huge roof of the magma chamber. And with every quake or um, earthquake swarm, uh, it could somehow compromise the strength of the roof of the magma chamber. And when that roof is um, cracked, that's when we can have a type of, a, uh, of an eruption. And another thing that we learned recently from another uh, geolog geological recent article has to do with the buoyancy of magma of supervolcanoes. They don't act that, as we said, as regular volcanoes. And the buoyancy of magma comes up like a, um, a balloon underwater coming up towards the surface, and that's how they act, these super volcanoes act. Their magma is more buoyant and different than regular uh, volcanoes. Let's go now to the uh, Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, see what the deformation is like and the activity. Okay, now here we have uh, the past 28 days. We're already on November 4th, so this doesn't include the earthquake swarms of the beginning of October, as we were referring to before. Uh, but uh, you can see the magnitude of uh, the earthquakes and the depth. Now, let's go into, this is the Hebgen Lake area, as we said before. This is the Yellowstone Lake area, and this is the caldera here, and the borders of the park, overlapping into Montana and Idaho. And these can be part, this of course are also part of the earthquakes of Yellowstone. Now let's go to the deformation. Um, the GPS stations. Let's go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Here we have a nice uh, example of uh, what it looks like. Okay. Let's go again because it takes some time. I don't know why it does that. You have to click it twice. Okay. This is the east-west graph. If it goes up, it means it's going east. If it goes down, it means it's going west. Well, here it was going down. This graph starts from, let's say again. Sorry, it starts from 2005. Okay, 2005 it was going east, then it started going west, and then east, and now it's going, uh, sorry, west, and then uh, east, and then west, now it's going east. And then this is the north-south graph. If it goes up, it means going north. Well, it was going north in the beginning, 2005. Then it started going south, then north, and then south. So this is basically going southeast, southeast now. And you can see it was inflating, deflating, inflating, deflating. Now it's inflating. Going southeast. Okay, this is the monitoring station HVW. Why? Southeast inflating. 
southeast inflating south east southeast inflating let's go to hebgen lake p4858 and this is um, steady as far as east west it's, this is also going south and this is inflating and let's go to another one around hebgen lake let's go to this one p457 okay here it's going it's not going southeast it's going northeast and basically inflating so it's going in the northeast direction southeast direction northeast direction means that there's bulging here okay there's no gps here is that, is that a gps station yes that's earthquakes the last 24 hours i don't understand why they don't have a, a gps station there uh let's go to this one here okay this is going uh where was it this is going northeast this one p714 this is going northeast and it's pretty steady so we see northeast here we see southeast here which means that something is inflating there but there's no gps station there uh, let's take this one here as p684 okay this is going it's going southwest and it's seasonal but it's inflating southwest so very interesting movement we have northeast southeast and southwest so if you have something going like this and like this and like this it means that this is inflating and this is where we have the earthquake swarms here 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 okay so something is going on right here meaning for this to be moving northeast southeast and southwest obviously this is moving let's take this one here gps 361 and uh, this is again going southeast uh, sorry southwest 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 northeast southeast so again this shows that this thing is coming up that's where we have our earthquake swarms so we'll keep an eye on out on that that's what's happening in yellowstone there's always movement there of course it's uh, one of the biggest super volcanoes on the earth. Thank you for your support. Please leave your comments. Thank you so much.